Hey guys, I just wanted to show you one more thing, Shopify, while it's uh, still fresh in my head. Uh, so how to get a full width slider in not just maybe this theme, but this is the supply theme, but a lot of themes in Shopify, the free themes work great. They just have some certain limitations to what you can do if, if you don't do too much customizations. Okay, so, so what am I talking about exactly here? I'm talking about the supply theme that Shopify gives you by default. Okay, and if you look at the you look at the structure of it, and I don't think you have to be a coder to understand this, uh, but basically they have the header, right, in the full width container, and then they have the the content or the body of your website. Everything is boxed in into this main content container and, and this is really good actually this this kind of you know ensures all the elements are lined up it just makes things very neat uh, unfortunately a lot of websites it, it just looks more expensive when when this picture is like a full with container right and I, and I found this problem on some other support forums and, and some people did some like kind of hacks to get it or CSS to get it but then there were bugs and then it just wasn't working well and then the explanation to get it it was kind of like very vague and I found it very vague so I'm just gonna go through kind of step by step of uh, how, how I would uh, solve this problem here um, so to give you the end result the end result should look like like this now this is not full width just because the, the picture the client gave me was too small but you can see most of the time uh, it would look like this, right? It would just look like this. And uh, yeah, that's it, it's full width. So what's the difference here? So what's the difference with this code and the default Shopify code, right? Let's look into here, let's look into here. here. This piece here is loaded above the container. So this is basically if you look at it here, nav bar, nav bar, okay, so this is the nav bar container, okay? And then if you keep going down, you won't find that old container where it was just like constraining everything. I didn't delete it, it's still here. So if we go down to here, you can see. So this was the kind of like below the header wrapper container with, with the paddings on the side. And then I, I, I simply moved, I moved this whole thing up to the header container, whatever you want to call it, right? I mean, maybe I'm not using a name that people agree with, but it is a container, it's just full with container up ahead. So let's dive right into the actual coding of what I did here. It's actually quite simple. I, I like things that are really easy to do, basically. So that way I can't mess up anything else. Uh, so here, if you'll notice, here is you know, they don't call it the header, but it's essentially the header when you you, you, you put the header section into the body, well, whatever, it, it's close enough to be a header, right? And then I added my own section, which is a slideshow, right? This slideshow, what it represents is here, right? Here is called slideshow, okay? So this is default out of the theme, right? So it's gonna call on this, it's gonna insert this. And remember, you cannot insert a Shopify section into another Shopify section. Otherwise, I would have inserted this slides show section right into the header section. But you can't do that, okay? You can't do that in uh, Shopify. So what the proper way of doing it is from here, the theme file, the theme essentially is doing all the work, kind of like a, kind of like a table of contents, if you will, calling everything, right? theme file it has the header and then it's calling all the uh, sections here and then you can see so here's the culprit right here's that main wrapper right so it's both good and bad I'm not gonna touch it I like it but for the purposes of making a full width slider you need it above the wrapper right so if you look at the source code so not this we're gonna get rid of this that's the old one it's exactly what it's doing I mean we, we can close all this stuff but look, this is below, this is above. Uh, really simple when we do it like that. I, I, I wouldn't like, I wouldn't go into here. I wouldn't try to go through CSS and, and then through through whatever. I, I wouldn't try to go into sections code and then and then edit that um, because no matter what you do, 
you're gonna find if you try to work off of here, if you try to like force it, if you try to do some absolute, you might get some bugs and stuff. So I, I think the right way was just simply to move it, right? Uh, and then there were some there were some CSS I needed to do to make it look even better. What was it? There's some CSS, minimal CSS I needed to do. Uh, I needed to get rid of. Uh, oh yeah, there were left and right arrows I needed to get rid of, right? So if you look at a slider, usually there's a left and right arrow. Uh, in this case, you wouldn't want a left and right one. Like the theme has these ones. They work just fine. Right, the theme, it looks pretty good like that, right? So I hit those, and then I, there was another horizontal rule where, where whenever there's a section, it would insert. It would, by default, there, there would be another spacer section here, which, which didn't make sense. I, I needed it to be kind of like snuck right up against it, right? And if you look at this design, I basically designed this website to mimic the style of their packaging. You, you see their packaging has the white logo and then and then the gold trim here. That's exactly what we have here, right? So to, to me, you know, I, I don't think the client expected this level of, uh, this level of customization to it, but to me it was important to have a really cool looking website, to have a really cohesive website to the branding package. And uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a really simple solution, I thought, to uh, otherwise a problem that, you know, wasn't very clearly solved onto the, some, some of the support forums. Uh, anyways, I hope you found that was useful. Thank you so much.